Meanwhile, busting the myths about masks. That's a local man's mission as mask mandates are ramping up in the metro and all across the country. Mackenzie Nelson shows the experiment one engineer performed on himself. With mask mandates in many parts of the metro area, many people still have misconceptions. My friend is kind of like that, and I'm just like, just put it on. Just wear it. It's fine. You're not dying. As mask mandates went into place, debates on effectiveness took center stage. Half of them do like to wear and half of them don't because like some people can't breathe in them and stuff, so they would rather not have them required. If you're tired of hearing about masks from health experts, a researcher and engineer from UMKC is sharing his own findings. And I said, I'm just going to prove it out. So I bought one of these little blood pulse oximeters. I researched and found this is one of the more accurate ones. Okay, so Steve I Siegel wanted to test his blood oxygen levels with and without a mask on. He's also tested his levels after working out in the heat. 95 to 100 percent is considered normal from what I've read. I mean, I'm, I'm not a medical expert. After walking us through his own research, we decided to go out and buy a pulse oximeter to get our own results. And after being outside for 20 minutes without wearing my mask, my blood oxygen level was at a 98. Below 90 is when they start questioning that your efficiency of your lungs and maybe there's an issue. The numbers are relative, meaning you want them to be around the same with and without your mask on. You can't argue with proven facts. I mean, it's just there's no way to argue it. I've been wearing my mask outside now in the heat for about 20 minutes, and after testing my blood oxygen levels again, it's sitting at a 97. Nobody knows. This is an unknown, and this is all research, and unfortunately, we're caught in the middle of it. According to Siegel's research, wearing a mask does not impact your breathing much, and like health officials, he's encouraging everyone to wear one. Reporting in Kansas City, Mackenzie Nelson, 41 Action News.